In good old 4.3, there are over 3,000 changes. Among all those 300, there is one tiny new feature that has been hidden for about 6 months. Why hidden? Because it is not currently available in the good old docs and I saw nobody talking about it in any other video. Today you will know which this new feature is and how to make the most of it. So now let's start. 1. Secret Future Information So basically to begin with this I want to give you some key information about this feature that will help us understand everything better so that's why this section is super important for you to understand fully. So this feature was firstly introduced, the first version of this feature was introduced in Guro 4.3 Dev 1 that as you can see was released something like 6 months ago, even a little bit more than that. Of course in the following um, versions of Growth 4.3 because this was just the first dev of 4.3 um, th there could be some also bug fixes maybe some other tiny features that were introduced that could have an impact on this one that I will tell you in a second um, but basically if we scroll down here a little bit it's not really like in the first ones which quite surprises me and actually makes it a little bit secret um, we can scroll down a little bit and here is this feature that I was telling you. No groups can now be configured project-wide with scenes correctly updating when you make the changes. And the other reason why this was quite secret or not much people actually um, realized about this new feature is the fact that well here the description doesn't tell you much stuff. It is not until you actually go to the, to the PR in GitHub that you actually have some information about uh, how this new feature actually works so which this new feature is so basically it really has to do with groups okay we always use groups in order to identify uh, the different nodes that we have in order to detect collisions also to grab certain type of nodes and do some kinds of stuff some uh, kind of stuff so it's something that we uh, are quite used to using um so yes of course some kinds of new feature about this can actually have a huge impact on how we build our games so um now uh, groups are going to be divided into two different settings global groups and local groups i will discuss the main differences between them in just a second because here again i don't think that the descriptions are quite explanatory on the other hand we will see it in a second inside of growth okay uh, but well, basically here you can also understand what other advantages and what are the other changes that uh, this feature has. So you may be able to check this out on your own as well. I will be leaving all these links in the description down below. Now let's actually see how this new feature behaves in without inside of the engine. In order to quickly create something, I will basically uh, create here a 2D sim. I'm gonna go to the notes tab in the groups. We indeed can see here sync groups and global groups. So if you remember, basically what we used to have over here was just an input field in where we could type in the group um, of the node. Well, but well, right now uh, we have this add button, and basically we can create a new group by giving it a name. For example, I will call this one just node 2D. And we have here the option to make it global that I will explain in a second. And unless I uh, check global, I'm not going to be able to add a description. Um, so let me delete this just in case. So basically, I'm going to be able here to assign here this new group to this node. And the good thing is that you don't have to type anymore the, uh, the group name. On the other hand, you just have this checkbox. So for example, here let me add, add it to the node. And if I wanted this 2D node to be in the same group, I sh I would only need to select it and check the checkbox. So it is super simple to um, to add and delete nodes from groups, and you don't have to anymore be typing there uh, some stuff. So yes, indeed, it is quite quite interesting. And also here you have a button to copy the group name to the clipboard. So when you want to have here a script and you want to do something with the group, for example, um, if is in group, for example, you have to type it here, and this could lead to a misspelling, so here you can just paste it in, and you're going to have the exact group name, 
uh so this is something that can really have an impact on the time that you save and it's going to avoid there having some issues as well um so now let's actually explain some differences between the zinc groups and the global groups I will be explaining everything um, in a quite a dynamic way, actually doing uh, some example. But if you want to know more about this, you can always go to the PR link down below and here also know some other differences and also like a text uh, information. So the names are quite self-explanatory, but basically the scene groups are groups that you can only assign inside of the scene that they are created. For example, here in this scene that I will save it and I will call it Node2D. I have the group node 2d but on the other hand if i create a brand new scene and i create a 3d scene that i will save as node 3d as you can see in the scene groups i don't have this uh node 2d option okay because I, this group was created in node 3d um so for example here if i create a new group that is not global it's basically it will only exist on this scene i will call it node 3d okay here i have it but here I don't have it, okay? No 3D, no 2D. Um, this doesn't mean that no 3D doesn't have access to no 2D because groups still exist basically in the tree, in the scene tree. Uh, that basically it has access in all scenes in every single instance. So if here, for example, in no 3D, I wanted to get uh, anything related or do anything related with the nodes inside the new the node to the group i would still have access to that so it's not that scene groups don't exist in other scenes or that they don't have access etc it is just a way of organizing the project better now on the other hand as you would probably think of basically global groups are groups that exist and can be assigned to different nodes in different scenes for example i will create here a new group and I will call it, um, I don't know, notes. Okay. I will make it global. And here you can even add a description. Okay. This is the notes group. I will click OK. And here I have it. Okay. Notes. And in my other scene, I also have it as well. So, for example, here I will do quite a simple thing. And I will basically uh, get every single node inside of the um inside of the basically the, the node group okay so here i will print this out and i have it here node 2 d okay and the same thing would happen here if i assigned the uh, script so let me quickly assign this script or basically the same lines okay and i would have here node 3d printed out so yes indeed this group exists in all scenes okay again you don't have to change anything in your scripts because the way in which groups work is exact same one the only thing that changes a little bit is the way in which you assign and create new groups and it basically comes with new functionalities as basically here a uh, more efficiency when enabling or disabling these groups and also the possibility of directly copying and pasting the group name so basically which are the main advantages of this new group system basically the first advantage is the fact that you are going to be having better organization because now you don't have any more to type anything in an input field um, and also the fact that you have divided your scene groups that only exist in the scene that they were created and global groups that could be assigned in any other scene can also have a positive impact on your project organization and the second advantage is basically the fact that you're going to be avoiding lots of things spellings because of the copy button so this one will make sure that, for example, if you want to check if a node is inside a group or if you want to get all the nodes inside of a group, you always used to uh, have there to basically write the group name. And well, now with the copy button, it's just copy and paste. So basically, this is the secret, let's say, a new feature that is coming now in good old 4.3. So I personally feel like it is going to be quite, quite important because groups are a feature that we are always using and now with this two main advantages that i mentioned it is really going to have a positive impact on the good old flows so i hope it is useful for you as well if you want to know more features about good old, even more news about good old 4.3 make sure that you are subscribed because my channel is mostly related to good old, so i'm always uploading uh, content that is useful for the good old community see you in the next one and bye bye